All right, part two of word problems. We'll do the last three examples here. Number five, a dead tree in a forest is deteriorating at a rate of point, or 4.27%. Almost did the switch on the fly there. 0.0427 would be R. If the tree weighs 63, 59 pounds today, in how many years will the tree have deteriorated to just 100 pounds? Okay, that feels like that's going to be a lot of years because that's a lot of weight loss at only 4% per year. So, yeah, we're going to get a big number here. All right, growth and decay. So this would be this formula. And since we're decaying, we we'll use the minus sign. If you use the plus sign, you would, you would never get anything that worked. Let's see, so A is the after. So we're not really thinking about money, principal, amount. We're just thinking after and pre. So the after is 100. The pre is 63.59. 1 minus 0 0.0427 to the T. And again, we're thinking it's going to be a big T to drop that much weight at 4% per year. Um, so I need to solve for T. Let's divide by divide both sides by 63.59. Some of you guys are going to go to the calculator early in the process, and that's okay. You just have to carry that decimal the whole way through. I'm going to leave it as a fraction and then just type it in once at the end. But you can do it either way. If you want to type in that and then use that long decimal over and over again, that's okay. I think it's easier to do it this way. All right, let's natural log both sides to get that t out of the exponents. So 100 over 63.59, or whatever that decimal is that you've already figured out. Uh, here's one where I probably could subtract, because that's going to be an easy one. That's not going to be a crazy decimal. 1 minus 0.0427 is 0.9573. So this is a good problem where sometimes it's good to go to the calculator and make things easier. Other times it's probably best to leave it uh, as that. So the T comes out front. That was the whole point of this. So natural log of 100 over 63.59 equals, equals T natural log of 0.9573 and we're almost there divide both sides by natural log of 0.9573 to get your time so this is going to be a mess in the calculator but that's why you have the the fraction bar natural log whoops I don't need the fraction bar yet no I do need the fraction bar because I want natural log of 100 over 63.59. Could have used the fraction bar there, but that's a simple one, so I'm not going to bother with that. Over natural log 0.9573. 95.156 years. Nearly 100 years, but again, we're decaying just a little bit per year, so I think that seems like a reasonable answer. All right, number six, the half-life of radium. So already I know which formula I'm using, the half-life formula. After equals pre 0.5 to the T over H. Okay. T is time, like the time run of the experiment. H is the half-life number. So the half-life is 1,600. That tells me that H is 1,600. If I start with, so if I pre... 100, how much is left, find A, after T, 20,000 years. So A, we don't know. We started with, there's a lot of numbers in this one, started with 100, 0.5, T is 20,000 years, over 1,600 years. Basically, 20,000 divided by 1,600 is how many times it will be cut in half. So 
So we're going to multiply by a half however many times 20,000 over 1,600 is. That's a little explanation for why the formula works. So 100 times 0.5 to the 20,000 divided by 1,600. I know the calculator knows order of operations, so I didn't have to worry about parentheses there. 0 0.0173, we'll go with that, uh, milligrams. The big thing is don't multiply 100 and 0.5 and tell me that that's 50 and then raise that to something because you got to do the exponent before you do the multiplication. Now your calculator knows that. I just hope you know that. Number seven. How long does it take the 100 milligram am amount to decrease to 5 milligrams? Okay, so this is the same information, but now we're looking for find time. And we know the pre is 100 and the after is 5. So A equals P. 0.5 to the t over h. After is 5. The pre is 100. 0.5. Looking for t. Over h is still the same because it's still this uh, radium 226. Divide both sides by 100. 5 divided by 100. Uh, again, that's one of those where you could leave it as 5 over 100 or... 5 over 100 is a nice decimal, so I'd probably go ahead and do the work on that one. Natural log both sides to get the t out of the exponent. So natural log 0 0.05 equals t over 1600 times natural log of 0.5. Ooh, i got to be careful with my algebra here. I need to multiply by 1600 get the 1600 out of the denominator, but then divide by natural log of 0.5. And so that'll get t by itself. Careful on the other side. Um, fraction bar for extra caution here, 1600 natural log 0.05 divided by natural log 0.5. So in 69.15 years, 69.15.085 years. So in 7,000 years, that's a long time, but half-life is, is really long, so it takes a while. <coughs> There's a little information about nuclear power plants and the half-life, and that's why uh, people don't want the uranium in their backyard because the half-life is forever. Um, obviously, there's safety things. You can seal it up and not worry about it, but people are nervous about it. Anyway, the assignment is the next worksheet, worksheet 8. We'll go over some of those on Friday and review, and then we'll test Monday, test Monday, test Monday.